One day I decided to make 3D printing a hobby, and I wanted to make my own miniature house just like this one. And like every humble beginning, I decided to get myself an Ender 3. What I thought was only gonna take me a week, ended up becoming 5 months of learning how to do modeling and how to print properly. With all that experience, I have managed to create this monstrosity. And at the end of this video, I will show you a beautiful version. My name is Justin, and this is my first journey of bridge. Now that I got a printer, the next thing I'm gonna need is a 3D modeling software. Tinkercad is nice and free and it's also easy to learn, but I'm gonna do this the hard mode like a real gamer. So I'm gonna go to another website. I'm gonna use Fusion 360 instead. It's from the same company, but it will be quite a challenge. Now every house begins with a foundation and oh man, why is this so loud? And then the next one I made is the front wall with holes where the window frames and the door would be. I decided to print the window frame separately so it's easier to paint but I wonder how this will go when installing them. Then I made the roof and make it a fancy looking one with uh, tiles on it. I have also added dormers on each side so it looks a little bit interesting. It could make it a little bit complicated but I think it's worth a try to put some of these on there. Right now that they're all printed, it's time to paint them. And okay, I put too much paint on there. I cannot put the windows on and I broke it. Well, that's it. All right, this time I gave up because there's just so, so many windows to install on this thing. And I think I learned a lot in here. Uh, the designing of this, it was just overly complicated. I should have put the window frames uh, part of the walls and the roof the roof didn't need to be multiple pieces. I could have just made it together. When I put it together, I think the glue might have uh, expanded and now it's all warped. And I don't like the tiling on it. It kind of looks ugly. The paint as well, it needs thinning and there's so much clumps. I cannot put this together. I'm just gonna keep those design failures in mind and, and I'm just gonna set this model right here across from me that way I'll be reminded of it every day I mean I don't need that to remind me of my failures all right now it's time for a redesign I have printed the windows with the walls so that they're together now I don't have to piece them together and no more gluing I have also enlarged the hexagons on the foundations because it looks a lot cooler. I have also made the roof into two pieces instead of four just so that there's no unnecessary gluing and they kind of look like ceramic tiles now instead of those ugly square ones. The redesign would not be complete without an upgrade to our equipment so I decided to throw some money at the problem to make it go away. <laughs> so I decided to replace my Ender 3 with the Mark 3 Prusa. It's definitely a sound improvement because I could barely hear it especially with these uh anti-vibration feet on it as well as a slab of concrete and foam and it wouldn't be a beginner video without the excessive stringing now it's time to finally paint this thing once again uh, but this time I've added some primer and I actually thinned my paints before applying them so yeah thinning your paint is a life lesson so remember that kids after staring at a potted plant for a while, I've learned what a good color is for ceramic and this time I actually picked the correct one instead of that dark ugly brown from the first time. I've come across a video about oil washes so I decided to try it for myself and I almost destroyed it and I was not gonna go back and try this all over again because that was a lot of work. So I discovered another problem the dormer and the roof of the dormer wasn't gonna fit on the main roof and I was about to give up so I measured the dormer and it came out to be 44.94 millimeters so if you don't know what metric looks like it's what it looks like on the screen right there uh, subtitle while the space on the roof is 44.75 millimeters so there's not enough space for the dormer to go into the roof it just it just don't fit Okay. And I got so mad at this that I broke one of the dormers uh, because I, I tried to make it fit, you know, yeah, but, but I'll, I'll be fine. I'll just, I'll just print a, a smaller one and then uh, call it good. 
uh, so I don't have to replace the whole entire roof. While that's printing, I'll just start uh, painting the walls and I'm gonna properly do it this time. Layering is very important, so that's what I'm doing here. One thin layer at a time, so I don't end up having the same problems as the first time. While I was doing all of the painting and the uh, assembly, I completely forgot to print the chimney and even paint it. So I'll just use a marker and call it good. And I'm satisfied with the paint quality that I've done. Now I'm going to put these all together and it makes a satisfying snap. And I forgot another thing. I was going to put acrylic uh, transparent sheets at the back of the windows so they look like glass but they're plastic. Now I'm gonna glue this on the wall using cement glue. This is a little bit different because it actually melts PLA. It melts both the acrylic and the PLA and that's how it creates a bond. And look at that, it looks like glass. Shiny. Now that everything is in place, I'm finally going to seal this one side of the roof. And we're finally done. I am satisfied with what I was able to pull off here. I think it is beautiful and it deserves a photo shoot montage. If you guys want to try this one out yourself, I have uploaded the SDL files at printables.com. The SDL file is free to download for you to print. And for the next video, I've created a smaller but better looking house. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.